Hi guys, so as you can see here, I am back with my new year, new me sim and today we're just going to be playing a bit more of a story because obviously I finished the new year, new hustle scenario in the sims so this is more just a, not a legacy challenge, it's more just me playing with this sim, doing whatever I want eventually it will technically be a legacy but it's not like a legacy challenge in the sense of like oh yeah you have to hit like 10 generations, it's literally just I'm going to play with this sim and any kids she may have or family she may have until I get bored and first things first now it's night in the town which means free food and drinks and she is hungry so I'm going to take her out to get dinner she is probably she lives in what's it called Henford and Bagley I've completely blanked in the name but that's where she lives so I'm going to be taking her to the pub here, the one in town, the gnome's arms, the bar, to get some free food. The loading screens are very long in my game at the minute. I've had to restart my game three times. I've been recording most of the day. I'm very tired, by the way, should mention. I'm recording about six, seven videos in one day because I'm going home early, which means I won't be here with my usual setup to record. But, issue being, my back really hurts. I'm extremely tired, so I'm in bed. I'm leaning against my woolly mammoth. That's why it looks different, and my camera might be slightly shaky, but this is literally the only way I could get anything recorded because my back hurts too much to sit in the chair because the chair is not a good chair. It's a crap plastic chair that came with this room because I rent uh, like a flat, so it's a crappy like plastic chair, like the barest minimum that you get with like a uni flat. And it hurts my back more than it helps. So <laughs> that's why I'm sitting here. Now, what should she get for dinner? Um, I think a veggie burger. I would kill for a veggie burger right now. Also, I think I'm going to change up her appearance. Because uh, I had to look way? at her to make the what should we call it thumbnail for a couple of my other videos and there's just something about this hair the hair is beautiful the color is beautiful but i just don't feel like it's her i feel like it's a nice little change for right now but i don't feel like it's her so we're gonna change it and this random person is sat with us so oh wait no that's rami watson is it yes it is so we can have a chat with her while we eat our food um, our fun's pretty low, so he near fell, but our fun's pretty low, so we should probably do something about that at some point. Um, I actually haven't played with this sim in like two weeks. There's been videos out since then, but I have not played with her in about two weeks, so I need to actually look and see what she enjoys again. She likes fitness, fishing, and painting, and she doesn't like the colour yellow. Yellow's my favourite colour. Why would you not like yellow? But yeah, she can have a chat down here for a while and then probably head home. Maybe do a bit of writing because I remember, obviously. Just catch you guys up. She is in... Hang on a second. She is going to go into the writing career. I think. <laughs> now I'm questioning it. Or was she going to... No, she's going into the writing career when she becomes an adult. So at the minute she has nine days until she becomes an adult. She's a young adult right now. So once she becomes an adult, she's going to go into the writing career. She's already completed the artist aspiration, the painter extraordinaire aspiration, already done. That was what we did in New Year New Hustle. And now she wants to be a best-selling author. But she doesn't want, she wants to do it on her own terms at the minute, which is why she isn't in the career. She is going to go in the career, I'm going to send her home. But she is going to go into the career once she becomes an adult, but at the minute she wants to take things slow, take it at her own pace, do her own thing. And you know what? Good for her. Wish I could do the same. Now time to sit through a weird long, well not weird loading screen, but a weirdly long one. Oh god, please don't crash. I literally just got back in the game. Please. Oh, thank God. 
Also, if I seem kind of like not as enthusiastic as normal, I'm just tired. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm just really tired. I was at uni today. Uni's tiring sometimes, you know? <laughs> so what should I get her to do? Maybe go for a jog? Oh yeah, she also wants to be famous. Is another thing as well, which is part of why she wants to be famous on her own terms. I think I said I was going to put her, if we go down here, I was going to put her in the career. She needs to be at least three stars. Maybe even four by the time, well, probably three by the time she goes in the career. Because she wants to be famous on her own terms. She doesn't want to be famous like, oh, I work for this company so I'm famous now. No, she wants to be famous because she's a really good writer rather than, oh, wow, you work for them? Cool. Like, no, that's just not her thing. So she's going to go back. She's going to take a shower. Also, her house, it's teeny tiny, but its I kind of love it. It's got the bare minimum, which is what she likes. So it's got a little purple living room that, for some reason, that bit of the wall looked like a different colour, but it's not. So the living room's purple. She's got the little purple settee in there. If we could see it, that would be wonderful. Oh, still can't see it. There we go. The little purple settee. Got a little blue kitchen, pink bathroom, little blue bedroom, and this little red one is her art and work, basically, area. There's her easel and her little typewriter computer, so if she could get in and have a shower, that would be great, and then she can do some writing before she goes to bed. That's if she has a book started. She does not. Nah, we'll, we'll start one anyway. A motivational book? Yeah, we'll go for that. Where is she? Are you Are you not going to go to the shower? There we go. I fully thought she was just going to stand outside and stink up the street. Vlad? No. Also, I've pretty much determined, well, not really. It's more just her entire personality as a whole. Basically, she is aromantic. She has no interest in any male, female, or otherwise, gender, gender, whatever. Sims, no interest. She likes her independence. She has no romantic interest in anyone. Sexual, maybe. I don't know whether I want her to maybe have a child with someone as like a, like a sperm donor type thing, or she wants to adopt. Probably adopt, but. Either could work, but yeah, she's not going to be dating or marrying anyone at any point in time. She will probably have a child though. I'm not going to try to name the book. Just write your book. <laughs> write until 10 and then I'll let you go to the toilet and go to bed. Barely started the book, but you know what, barely starting is better than not start at all. Also yeah, the house is honestly kind of ugh. The roof is, ooh, but like it functions for her needs. <laughs> it just looks bad while doing it. And what more could you want? I also like the lack of career because it literally means like she doesn't have specific time. If she wants to sleep in, she's she can and she will sleep in, and that's good. Oh, night out the town was successful. I would like to think so. You went out twice. <laughs> um. What was I going to check? Oh yeah, she also has a whole pile of bonus traits. So she's creative, loves outdoors and ambitious just as her regular traits. I bought her independent, her social needs decay slower because it just, she is independent. Express an expressionistic, if I could speak, is what she got for completing the painter extraordinaire aspiration which is, she has captured the essence of feeling and can Create highly emotional works of art regardless of her mood. That's if she goes to paint, she can create any mood painting. Create a visionary, I bought her, has a higher chance of painting and writing masterworks, which is good for both painting and writing, obviously. Entrepreneurial, whenever she gets her career, she'll be more likely to be promoted. A night owl builds extra skill at night, morning sim. Builds extra skill in the morning musers because she had a creativity aspiration, so she gets booster skills when she is inspired. So I'm going to go ahead and wake her up. Have you got any food in the fridge? No, but that is okay. We can make food. If it would, you know, load. That'd be nice. 
Um, ooh, French toast. Yum. I haven't had French toast in years. Why have we got berries? Hang on. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not getting rid of these. I, I don't remember why I have these. But I feel like I meant to plant them. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and plant them. Or at least put them outside so I don't use them in anything. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Now you cannot use your berries. Um, now where's the French toast gone? There it is. You don't have any for it. No, my lemon! Oh, it's fine. I can get a lemon easier than I can get the other things. But, is, is the lemon safe? She likes cooking. Good. What's happening? Can I have the lemon or not? I don't think the lemon is, has been spared. Anyway, I'm going to plant these. Because I want her to have like a few flowers. Because she does need a source of income. Obviously, she has quite a bit of money. She has 20,000. But the issue is, because she's a freelance writer, her only income is herself. At some point, she's probably not going to have the most money until she goes into like a proper full-on career or gets really famous and rich. But for the meantime, it is better to have as many sources of income as she can. There we go, we can do these. Do either of these? No, neither of those create inspiration. Um, and after this, we're gonna get her writing her book. Right, oh, she's inspired. Good, please stay inspired, please. I will cry, oh, seriously? I needed you to be inspired and this is what you've done. <laughs> it's fine. Either way she'll do well. It's just I have to write for one hour while inspired. What? This has a confident mood look, doesn't it? Yeah. Does anything I have create inspiration? Inspiration? Energizing. That just does nothing. This lemon I have to sell because it's going to really annoy me just sitting there. This game has been so laggy. God, I'm gonna save it because I'm really scared of losing everything. I hate how laggy it's been recently. Like, please, I just want to play The Sims <laughs> without it like crashing every 0.2 seconds. See, that four simoleons compared to the 20,000 she currently has is just not quite the same, you know? But look at her go. I think later, like today, is in. The Sims Day this Saturday. I'm going to change her hair. Might give her short hair. I don't know if she would suit it. Oh, Oleana's her best friend, by the way. There was a time where we thought that they might date or be a thing, but Oleana's very happily married, and there's a wee bit of romance there because they accidentally flirted at one point, but they're just friends. I couldn't manage to reach your mailbox, but I managed to throw the mail in. Thank you. I mean, I don't know how you can reach it. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I really don't know how you couldn't reach it. But, anyway. Oh, did you finish your book? Go publish your book! Go on, hurry up! Yay! Yeah, and then you, you're allowed to go to the toilet. <laughs> how are these plants doing? Fall, summer, winter and spring, fall and spring, summer, fall. Okay, I have at least one plant for every season, which is good because it means at least one of my plants will be giving me some kind of income every season. Because it is kind of a concern that I'll have no money. So once she's finished going to the toilet, we're going to plan an outfit and we're going to take her into cast and 
see what we're gonna do with her. I do love her hairstyle, but I don't know. I'm just feeling it. She hasn't even had this, like, outfit and hair for very long. It's just, there's just something about it that I look at her and I'm like, this isn't quite you. You look amazing. You, like, she looks gorgeous. But it just doesn't, it's not perfect. I think this was her original hair color. Either that or this. I think the slightly darker one. And I think I'll keep it long. See, because that just suits her so much more than the blonde does. But, I might change the hairstyle a bit. I could even give her like this hair, depending on the color. <gasps> I can't lie. I can't lie. Oh, I don't like that one as much from the back. But this one, I feel is like, kind of honestly perfect, but I look at other options. I can't just choose the first hair I see. Is there any other? I also have CC now. Hang on. No, I love this hair. Just as a whole. <gasps> Her with blue hair. Her with dark blue hair. Her with hair. <laughs> Just hair in general. Looks so pretty, but I'm not gonna put CC on her. Despite the fact that this perfectly matches her top, looks amazing and I would kill for it. I'm gonna just put her in normal hair again. Because I'm not letting myself use CC. <laughs> on my normal like everyday sims for a series like this unless whenever i start doing the not so berry challenge i am going to be using cc but not at that point oh hair turned black it's going to be this color oh that's kind of cute plus it fits because she lives like in the country She's like a little, oh, she's so cute. Well, I mean, we already knew she was cute, but now she's like extra cute for some reason. What does this look like? Actually, no, this is the same, exact same hair as the same in my other series. I can't put it on two cents. <laughs> Especially not in series that are going on the same time. Oh, what's this one? I've never seen this hair. I think this might be the one for now. She looks amazing. The blue. And the, like, in the turquoise, like, minty colour. <laughs> that, that's the one. I'm going to change her outfit, though. I want to give her, like, a cute little dress, maybe? Or what's this? <gasps> she kind of suits that, but I think it's maybe too laid back somehow. But it, it's definitely an option. <laughs> what was this? Oh, that is so cute! And it matches her hair! I could get her a little dog! I'm gonna make myself cry. No, I prefer the first one. Or is that a cat? Oh my god. Is, who, I think that's a cat. Or a hamster. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's a cat. I could get her a little cat. I'll leave her shoes, because that's what I would wear, to be honest. Oh. I think that's actually... Leave her other outfits. Just as they are. Yeah, and the formal can be her normal hair. Because I do still love her, like, long, like, hair down. It is beautiful. It's just that hair. It's so pretty. Look at her abs. She's so cool, right? She's getting this dress. And she's apparently getting a cat. Which, in fairness, we have the money to get a cat now. The issue being, like, in future, will we still have the money to, like, look after the cat? Yes, we will. <laughs> we will make it work because I want her to have a cute little cat. Like, I want her to have a cat that looks like the one in her shirt. Get off the computer, please, Oleana. Like, I love you, but I need to adopt a cat now. Um, where is it? A household, 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 adopt, adopt, cat. How long have I been recording? Oh, 20 minutes. Th that gives me like 10 minutes to get cat. I can do that. <gasps> oh, look at Rosie! Look at Mimi! Oh my god, Majora! <gasps> Why does Majora look this way? An adult Sphinx. I love Sphinxes. 
Samson, Samsung, <laughs> Magog, Boo. Oh my god, I think my favorite's got to be Majora. Let me see Majora. Honestly, Oliana, I do love you, but I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to send you home because I've got to meet my sweet little baby. <gasps> Sons, oh my god! Oh, you sweet baby! Come on, come meet the kitty. Shuna! I'm fully about to cry over a fictional cat. Get to know right now. Oh, oh, no, 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 I love you so much. Spoiled. <laughs> if you could just get out of my way, that'd be amazing. But you're right in my road. This house is so little. Oh, you jump on the counter. Well, I'm gonna do that, Katie. But I do need to also get to know you, so I'll let you stay there for a minute. Um, get to know, please. Hello. Hello, you the way. Curious. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hello. Cat? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Don't speak to her. We're adopting a cat right now. He is infinitely more important. Is it even he? Majora? He, she? They? Oh. Oh, he's such a sweet little baby. Oh my god. I love Right, you're mine. You have no bad traits and you are so cute. We're adopting this cat. We can't adopt the cat. Because it's like in such an awkward place. Hang on, hang on. I'm not leaving. I'm I can't live without this cat. Um Where's the reset? Where's reset sim? Can I teleport this cat? Um Um Help Help the family. Oh my god, I need to adopt you. Please. Come on. Oh, if I let him out. Will he come down? Right, okay. There we go. There we go. He's down. Adopt him. Hang on. Hang on. Ah, reset. Where'd he go? Oh my god. <laughs> I keep panicking because he just disappears. Yes, I'm so sure. He, 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 she? I don't remember if you're a boy or a girl, but I, I do remember that I love you more than life itself. And that's what really matters. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Now that is cute. Torgo Munda! <laughs> Yell at my fucking cat. I said a bad word. Apologies. But do not yell at my sweet little baby. Like, ever. Ever. Yeah, get out of my house. And now we are going into MC Command Center to look at the cat and cast. And we're gonna give it a cute little collar and maybe a little jumper. And see if it's a boy or a girl. You? You're, You're, a baby. Baby. You're a girl. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I love you so much. You spoiled and curious and aloof. Oh, and your eyes. Oh, you're the sweetest baby. Oh, look at that big little baby. Colors. This one. I know pink, no, I know blue, a turquoise kind of little white one, orange, I like a little white one, or maybe a dark blue, yeah, dark blue, 
can be the white. No, I prefer the white one. I'm gonna lose it. Look at this little angel. I'm gonna cry. And I'm gonna put you in a little jumper. Oh, I'm going to sob over this cat. The purple with the hearts. For this one. Oh, we're getting the purple with the hearts, I think. Pizza. Oh, you Majora. I am in love with you. I need a onesie. I am in love with this cat. A little monkey star. I love you. I love you. This is your little outfit. You beautiful little baby. Look at her. Oh, I love her. <laughs> the wrinkly baby. Oh, look at that little baby. Anyway, back into the actual, you know, game. <laughs> it's usually helpful if you play the actual game while doing a gaming video. But Majora's just too cute, I can just like not stare at her. <laughs> I am so glad I decided to record this because I was sitting there and I was like, I've got enough videos recorded for the next week so I don't need to. But then I was like, but I want to record and I'm so glad I recorded this because this is the sweetest baby I have ever seen. <laughs> I don't care. Oleana, I do not care about anything you have to say to me. Look at my cat. Look at my cat. Look at my cat. Look at her. Once we're done playing with the laser pointer, I'm actually going to add a whole cat room onto the house. So, well, I'm going to... I might just extend my bedroom to make room for the cat. But either way, right now, as the house stands, there is not room for the cat. So I'm probably just gonna <laughs> get a big bedroom. <laughs> is there's still a window go through, okay, thank god. <laughs> get two bay windows. Move that back over. Oh I forgot it. Oh, place that. Does that? Oh, gosh. Testing sheets through bb dot move objects on. Oh, that would explain my issue. <laughs> Here we go. I'll place you back there. No, you're falling off that table, especially if we've got a cat. The cat will push you off the table. Back slightly there. There we go. Move that there. Light in the middle room in this entire side of the room is just going to be for cat. Unless I want to give her a double bed. Why do we have like a bit of money? We could get the double bed version of her single bed. Actually. You know what? Don't call me crazy or anything. But bam. Which also means that me moving that was absolutely in vain. But that's fine. Because, look! Move all of this over to here. Look, she's actually got a whole double bed now! She's living the good life. Are those like, oh, I'm not going to move those because they are actually centered with the room, I think. Um, is this the right color of bed? I think so. Yeah, it is. So, in the corner we can put that. Over here we can have that. Obviously you need to replace the plant, but I kind of know where it goes. Apparently not. Just needs to go back a bit more. Too far back. Too far. Why is it not working? Hang on. There we go. 
And on the other side of the room we get cat stuff. Now obviously the kitchen is tiny. We are not fitting like food bowls and all in there so we're putting a, an automat automatic <laughs> feeder in here. A little white one. I don't want that colour of pet bowl though. I want a little blue one or a little white one. No black one. Or one of these ones. Or can this fit in there? I want a little stomp. A little purple stomp. No, I want an actual wood colour stomp. Oh. Egg bed! In front of the window. Maybe get her coat. She doesn't need two beds. She's a single cat. Um, I think I want to get her this litter box. Little calico litter box. Calico cats are my favourite, by the way. Well, that and sphinxes. I love both, in all honesty. But I need to get one of these. I need something. I always just buy this. But like 400 versus 75. I just need to remember to scoop it up here. Which I might not do, but at least I know I have a reason to. Little blue one. Oh, oh that kind of blocks your food, doesn't it? But. What if we move this? Can we put the little egg bed at the bottom of my bed? And the mirror goes back beside that. This is a lot of refining. It's the fact that it isn't even for my sim, it's literally for my cat. But if I put that there, like my sim's got room to like walk around if needed. Cat beds there, cat trees there, you know, my sim's got her stuff, cat's got its stuff. Do cats play with toys in my sims? Very important to me. I think I'll Honestly, do, do they play with... No, right, we'll just leave it. We can play- we are here to play with the cat. There we go! Look at all the cat stuff in the room. I'm gonna get my sim to go fill this up. Before we forget to. And we're gonna have to go and we're gonna have to tell the cat not to jump on the counters. <laughs> And then I think I am going to end this video here because it's been over half an hour. So anyway, thank you so much for watching me basically just get obsessed with The Sims Cat for half an hour. Um, sorry if the camera's a little bit shaky, like I said I'm recording in my bed right now so my legs are not the most stable surface. But thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> that was a struggle like comment and subscribe and all that fun stuff and i will see you in my next video bye